so today I'm going to give this... <coughs> try that again. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to try give this Vlogmas thing a go, but it's not Vlogmas. It's not so Vlogmas or Vlogmas-ish or something. I'm not going to be uploading every day. I might upload more than usual, some days vlog, some days makeup related videos, but I'm just going to be doing more than usual, yes. Yeah, so. Kind of Vlogmas, kind of not. Refuse to commit to it. Just like Louise from Sprinkle of Glitter said in her last vlog, she's gonna set the bar very low. Gonna set the bar very, very low. No expectations, but I'm gonna try and deliver heaps more content for you guys so that you kept entertained over the Christmas. So now I'm on my way off to meet my friend Stephanie. You know her, Stephanie Bailey. You've seen her in heaps of my vlogs. I have two vlogs. That makes no sense. You've seen her in my videos before and probably on my Instagram. We're off to the Napoleon Paradise headquarters, which is a high-end makeup brand in Australia. And we're going there for, I think it's a preview of what's coming for 2015. And we're also meeting um, Chloe, one of the girls from our agency, Max Connectors. So that's gonna be fun. So I will catch back up with you soon. Yeah, okay. plastic thing behind you. Oh, mm. The apocalypse is happening in Sydney. Like we are sitting in this like outdoor beer garden, and the entire thing is literally blowing away. Oh my god! Yeah. This is Sydney for you. It's not all. It's not all goods and glam, guys. Yeah. Just so summery in Australia so all the time. <laughs> we really need to stop doing that, boy. Oh, here it is. to one side so it actually just looks good whereas mine is like cousin it. Is that fair? <laughs> it's just every time we try and have a serious conversation all of this shit every starts time breaking. Start vlogging, just... <laughs> I've never laughed like that before in my life. <laughs> You're laughing weird. <laughs> What's happening? We're Tell them. We're currently in a metal cage um, and there is a lightning storm and we're probably going to be burnt to the crisp within like a good half an hour. This could be like, um, this could be like YouTuber uh, Survivor. This could be the last time that you ever see anything. I'm genuinely scared of lightning and thunder and it's so bad right now. Look at this. Can you, it it's doesn't even plastic. show up. It's plastic and conductor. That is my question. Well, we were trying to figure out, okay, we're in a metal cage, but what part of this is going to stop us from getting what? hurt to a crisp? I'm really hoping something's going I'm wearing rubber flip flops, so. I've got rubber on my shoes, is that? You're fine then, girl. We're fine. Yeah. If, okay, I was going to say, if you never see this vlog, it means we died. <laughs> Just cut it. Yeah. Cut it there. If you, if you don't see this vlog, we died. Sorry. It's Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Oh no! Oh no, my handbag! No! No! no. Our handbags are getting wet! Oh my god! This is going to be a whole vlog about us. Yeah, this is going to be. Welcome to Australia! It's not what you think! What's up? Let down under! What? The river's flowing, the river's under! No, 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 no! All you can hear is thunder and <laughs> Oh my god, I hope you can hear that. Like, it is literally epic storming right now. I'm going on a cruise in literally like an hour. I don't think you're going on a cruise. <laughs> Stephanie is going on a cruise for university next week. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, I said to Michelle before, I was like, what is a conductor ride? Like, am I going to be going? <laughs> Happy cruising! <laughs> you can just go on a cruise just here. This will make a great Instagram post for Sydney, you know, like, this is the Australian life. This is, if we were in Bondi right now, whenever the storm comes over Bondi, it looks like literally like Titanic or like Armageddon. In the end, it's nice. <laughs> December 4th which is Thursday and I've just been home all day doing some work and catching up on really boring stuff like washing and you know household chores that are super super exciting. I just wanted to catch up with you guys on what I did yesterday and also do a little bit of vlogging today I guess. I'm not really going anywhere I'm just doing boring stuff at home but so is the nature of vlogmas even though I refuse to say that this is vlogmas because like I said before we're setting the bar very, very low so I don't disappoint anyone. But yesterday, as you've seen, I went to the Napoleon Pardis HQ and it was really, really lovely. We got a full run through of everything that's coming up in 2015. So we got all of the collection previews up until, I think it's July. They're all embargo at the moment, which means that, you know, they're not for media's eyes just yet for us to share. But you will see them in the new year anyway. And there's some exciting, you know, really beautiful collections coming with them. So that was really cool. And then Stephanie and I went for a drink and a bite to eat in Sydney and got caught, well not caught, we were inside, but still got caught in a pretty big thunderstorm and we just giggled and screamed our way through it, it was quite funny. So we had a really nice time catching up and then she went on her cruise. I will leave Stephanie's links in the description box as always, she's awesome, you should really check her out. And then I went to meet my friend Amanda, who is actually one of my friends that I met in London when I lived there, but she's actually Australian, so she lives in Sydney as well, so we met up, we hadn't seen each other in ages, and her partner, or her boyfriend, is in the Australian Army, but he's actually in the Australian Army Band. And I didn't realize the Australian Army have a band, and some of them are the most amazingly talented musicians. Like, you'll see in the clips previously, they're so good. Amazing saxophone players, guitar players, everything. And they were playing in the Foundry in Sydney, which is a really big jazz bar as far as I know. I've never been there, but apparently it's quite popular. And they were playing there for the night just to release their new album, which is available for download now on SoundCloud. It is soundcloud.com forward slash A-U-S-T army band. And they've got some really cool songs. If you're into jazz and blues and stuff, which I know not everyone is, but I just love music in general. I love all types of music. So if you're into that kind of stuff, download it. You don't have to pay for the music, but if you do feel like donating to them, the money always goes to a great cause such as helping people with physical and psychological damage from being sent off to fight. So yeah, that's all I have really to say about that. So today, like I said, I am just at home with my gorgeous messy bun and my Aerosmith t-shirt and my denim shorts. I'm just chilling out at home, doing washing, doing really boring stuff, catching up on some blogging. For those of you who don't know, I blog full time as well. So I blog as many days a week as I can, usually between five and seven days a week. So I'll leave the link of my blog below. I don't think a lot of you know that I'm a blogger as well. So I'm trying to get lots of content up on there for the Christmas too. And yeah, what else? Something that might actually be quite cool to show you is a lot of the blogger mail that I've got recently. 
So over the Christmas period, PR companies will send bloggers and YouTubers gift sets and different things that are coming up as special gifts for the Christmas or else as 2015 releases. So there's lots of exciting packages coming in the mail. I'm super, super fortunate to receive them, obviously. Like the PR companies are very, very good to me. And it's so nice to be able to share that stuff with you guys. But sometimes I get so much in the mail that I just cannot share it all. So I thought, why not do a little blogger mail section? I can show you all of the stuff that I've been sent over the last couple of weeks. And it might give you some gift ideas for your mom or your sister or your cousin or whoever you're buying for. And yeah, you, you know, you can see what I get. Whenever you see me do a haul video, like my last video that I uploaded, that's stuff that I have bought with my own money. I don't like to haul my PR gifts. I think people would think I'm saying I bought it myself if I hauled it, but I didn't. This stuff that I'm about to show you, I didn't buy myself, it was sent to me, and I always like to keep that quite clear with people. I don't know how you guys feel about these kind of videos. If you would like me to start doing blogger mail videos, I guess I can. I just want to make sure that there's a clear distinction between what I've bought myself and what PR companies are sending me. Yeah, so I'm just going to run and get this stuff. It's over here and I'll be back in a second. I'm back with all of the things that I want to show you now. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything I've been sent because that would just be ridiculous. But I'm just going to show you the things that I think would make great gifts and give you ideas for, like I said, your mom or your sister or your cousin or your girlfriend or whatever it is. And also just some bits and bobs that I think you would really like to see as well. So they might not necessarily be gift worthy, but they might be coming up next year and it's something to be really excited about. As far as I know, all of this stuff is available in stores or online. I'm not 100% sure, but I will do my best to leave links to everything below just so that you know where to get them and it's a bit easier for you guys. So first up was this really, really cute gift from Chapstick. It had one of these little baubles here, but it fell off, which is <laughs> kind of sad but I can glue it back on, I'm sure. And I also got lots of their little candy cane lip balms with this as well. And this here is oh, a tin with their candy cane and their regular lip balms in there. And it would make a really, really cute gift for the tree. So thank you, Chapstick, for that. That was super cute. It's one of the only festive things I have in my house. I haven't accepted that it's Christmas yet because it's hot in Australia and I just, I refuse to think that that's Christmas. It just doesn't feel like Christmas for me. So next up is a box from Maybelline and it is full of some of their new releases that are coming up this Christmas or that will be released next year. So it'll give you a little bit of an overview about what's coming up. I really got excited when I got this box because they've got some awesome stuff coming in the new year. So first inside the box are these Volume Express mascaras. Then we have the Master Glaze by Face Studio. Oh, I was reading the French side. These are the Master Glaze blush sticks, which are really cute little blush sticks that are cream, really nice colors. I will do reviews of these on my blog, obviously, as well. So this isn't, you know, a full-on review or haul. This is just me showing you everything. Then, oh, then next up is the Wonder... Woo! Everything is falling. So next up is the Wonder Dream... Fluid Touch Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 20. And I think this is supposed to be one of those cream to powder feel, really natural feeling foundations. Then they have the Master Highlight by Face Studio highlighting blushes coming up. And they're like a mosaic kind of blush that have shades of blush in them and shades of highlight. So those will be fun to try out. And then they have a new eyeliner pen which is a really big slanted brush that's nice and black so that will be exciting to try. Then the one thing I was most excited about because all of the UK bloggers I read about are loving them and that is the Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil. And these are matte lip pencils that are supposed to be even better than the NARS ones, believe it or not. And they come in lots of beautiful colours. I just cannot wait to try them. I haven't even tried them on my mouth yet. And I'm just so excited to. I got all of the colours as far as I know. So I will do a swatch video or a swatch blog post if you'd like to see that. Let me know in the comments. And then I got the Colour Show lip glosses. I got... What else? I think that's it. 
So that is the Maybelline box for 2015. As I said, let me know in the comments what you would like to see from this in blog posts and videos. The next thing I put my hands on here is a little gift set from Glasshouse Fragrances. So this little set that I got is a Christmas set and it is $29.95 and you get a hand cream which is like this. You get a, oh, don't fall. You get a miniature candle, which let me tell you, these are triple scented candles. So I don't even have to open the lid on this to get the smell. It is beautiful. It's a vanilla caramel. Just, just let that sink into your brain and then use your brain to think of what the smell would smell like. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you get this absolutely gorgeous makeup bag. How cute is that? It's like very Parisian or something. I don't know, it looks gorgeous. And that is all you get in that, but they're very high quality, high end kind of products. And it has your little to and from thing already on it. And that is $29.95. Yeah, so I will link below where to get that. I'd say it's somewhere like David Jones. Next thing I have my hands on is a gorgeous bath set by Sanctuary. I remember Sanctuary from when I was younger because I think my mum used to get sets like this for Christmas and she really liked them. And this set, as far as I know, is only about $30 and it's huge. You can see it's huge. You get a two-day moisture shower oil, a five-day moisture creamy body oil, a four-day moisture oil scrub and a four-day moisture body oil spray and a little loofah. So this would be a brilliant gift to get your mother or your sister or somebody who likes luxurious bath products. So that is another gorgeous one. I thought that was such a nice gift. Next thing I have my hands on here is a Clinique eyeshadow palette. And this is called the Nutcracker Act 2 palette. And as far as I know, you can get this online. I will link it below again. This is an absolutely gorgeous four colored eyeshadow palette that also has a blusher in it too. You get these little brushes that are not too fussed about, but you know, for women that really aren't into makeup too much, they'll be quite useful. I'll just take off the plastic cover thing. So these are the eyeshadows. You get a highlight shade, a nice cool toned purple, a lilac, and a really warm, deep purple as well. It would make such a gorgeous smoky eye for the Christmas period. Purples are always beautiful around Christmas time. And pigmentation is great. I cannot wait to try this out. If you'd like to see me do a look with this one, let me know. Yeah, so that one is called the Nutcracker Act 2. Next up is a Jolique gift set and they gave me a beautiful card with this because I love Jolique and I'm always talking about them and they've noticed so they're really good to me and I like being good back to them because every product of theirs that I try is just so good and it's really natural organic kind of skincare. It's got no nasties in it or anything but it's still really high end high quality. It says here that this set is valued at $112 but you buy it for $89 and I guess that's anywhere that you would buy Jolique, but I will link it below if I can. And this contains a Rose Moisture Plus Moisturizing Cleanser, which is a hydrating foaming cleanser, a Rose Water Balancing Mist. I love the Rose Water Mist. It's one of those facial sprays. You know me and my facial sprays, I love them. And then this is a moisturizing cream, which is a rich protecting moisturizer. And I can already tell you these are gonna be awesome products because I literally have not tried anything from Jolique that I've been like, oh, this is crap. It's all amazing. This would be an amazing gift for a mum. I think they would absolutely love it. Next up is a really cute gift set from Cora Organics, and that is the Organic Range by Miranda Kerr. And in this little gift set, you get a Vitamin E Enhanced Lip Balm, you get a Daily Hand Cream, they're both lovely, but you also get these Treasure Yourself cards. And if you know anyone that's into, um, positive thinking and spiritual thoughts and all of that kind of stuff. This would be such a cool gift because what it has is it has loads of cards with mantras on them or positive phrases. And like this one here says, I stand, ooh, this one here says, I stand strong in my personal power. And it just gives you daily mantras by lots of powerful and strong women um, that you can use in your own life to help you with your confidence. And I just think it's a really cute idea. Not everyone is into that kind of stuff, but if you do know anyone that is, this would be a lovely gift. So you get all those three together. Next thing up is this multi-moisture balm that I got from a PR company, 
But alongside that, they actually sent me this little gift bag of party essentials, which I think is such a cute idea. So I don't think you can actually buy this set. This is something they put together themselves. But this would be such a good idea if you have a friend that loves to go out and wear her high heels and party over the Christmas period. Why not make her a cute little gift set? So they basically just have a really simple little bag and then inside it they have heel inserts, a nail file, instant dry drops. So this dries your nail polish instantly, which is probably really good. I think I need that in my life too. They have, oh, come out, whispers, blot off oil tissues, hair clips, and the last thing is a Lady Jane, the last thing is a Lady Jane detangling hairbrush, which is like the Tangle Teaser, but it's of the Lady Jane brand. So how cool is that? That would be such a good idea. And it's one of those gifts that wouldn't be too expensive. You could just buy lots of little cute things that you think are nice, but not too expensive, and put them together for a few of your friends if you don't want to, you know, break the bank and you don't want to blow your budget for Christmas. So how cute is that? And the, the actual balm that was sent with this looks great as well. It's by Dr. Lewins and it is a multi-moisture balm, like I said, and I love multi-purpose balms. You can use them on your elbows, your face, your heels, you know, your cuticles, anything that's looking a little bit rough or dry, and it's just an all-over miracle worker, so another good one. Next, I have two things that I've been absolutely obsessed with. Lately, you've probably seen candles burning in the background, so I these are the boxes, but the candles are actually over here, and I am in love with them. The first one is Bali Breeze, and these are by Sun, Sun Escape, I think is the name of the brand, yeah, Sun Escape. And the first candle is Bali Breeze, and it is vanilla, coconut, and caramel. Now, I'm not really into super, super sweet scents. Usually when I smell candles in, like, Mecca Cosmetica, I go for the really sexy man-smelling ones. I always go for those really masculine kind of fragrances in candles. My camera cut out there because of the battery, <laughs> but as I was saying, I usually go for a kind of deeper, more masculine scents, but the Bali Breeze and the Malibu Mist candles by Sun Escape are gorgeous. They're really light, kind of summery scents, but they still give you heaps of fragrance. For us here in Australia, when it's Christmas, it's summer, for those of you who don't know. So we don't want to be burning these really heavy, kind of, you know, really Christmassy scents because it just doesn't match up, even though it's Christmas. It's really hot and it's summer. So this is a nice kind of middle ground, I guess. The Bali Breeze one has vanilla, coconut, and caramel. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. And the Malibu Mist has tangerine, pear, and coconut. Both have so much scent to them, and both are just gorgeous. I've been burning them for the last two weeks, and there's about that much, the candles are about that big, and I have about that much left on them. I've even one burning now. So, so gorgeous, and I'm burning them all day and night. So those would make a beautiful gift for anyone you know that really loves their candles and their fragrances and more high-end kind of candles. So yeah, those are from Sun Escape, Malibu Mist and Bali Breeze. Let me know in the comment section if you liked seeing these kind of things. I won't do it again if you don't like to see it. If you think I'm bragging or anything like that, I'm really sorry, but I'm not. I'm just showing you the things that I think would make nice gifts. I'm not trying to show off what I've gotten from PR companies. I've no need to do that, I think. I'm a bit old and a bit long in the tooth for that kind of stuff. So yeah, let me know if in the next couple of vlogs over the next few weeks, if I receive any more gift packs, if you'd like to see them for more ideas of what to get your family and friends. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep up vlogging today, if I'm going to be doing any more vlogging, but if I do, this, this is pointless vlogging because if I do, you'll see it. If I don't, this is the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.